Let's quickly discuss the range of values a switch statement can accept. Switch statement can accept any integer value that is cat, int, short, long long int, long int, etc. Okay, so it can accept any of these values. So even we can say cat ch and we are accepting a character as the input. And then we are passing that as an argument to the switch statement. So we say case of that is capital R. If you want, that you can make it two of them so that we need to check only one part. You are saying it is red. Else, if it is not R. We are printing not red and we are exiting the program. Right? So now if you pass R, it is red. If you pass any other value, it is not red. Right? So here, because you are passing the cat, you are including the values to check within single quotes. Same time, if you are passing something like unsigned long long in n and we are going to accept that because it is integer value by default we need not include it within double quotes we can say 10,000 not 10,000 So, the range of the values that can be given to the switch statement will be inter integral values and it will be cat, int, short, long int, long long int, etc. Okay. You cannot pass a string as the input to a switch statement. So, this is not allowed. You can't say percentage yes and then pass it as input. Okay. This will give compilation error. It will say switch quantity not an integer as mentioned here. A switch statement can exist, can exist without any case also. Okay. So you can just have a switch statement and inside that you can have printout. It will not give any compilation error but it will not do anything also. Let's say cat. Now, this will not give any error, but because it is not finding any matching thing, it won't print anything. Okay, 